Alright, hello everybody, welcome to, what is it, day four of, uh, yeah, day four of the, uh, Crime Fest, sorry if I am not as loud, I guess, uh, I just got up, I was sleeping and enjoying, uh, that time, anyways, we're gonna be checking out the new update, and I've looked at it, it's not a big one, but it's still neat. So, let's go down here. Teammate hostage trading. Giving you an extra chance. The team AI has been killing and, re and reviving for a long time, and now it's time for an additional feature to help out players in need. Now the team AI can trade players in custody for a hostage. So, here's how it works. The team AI can trade players from custody if all players are in custody and there is only team AI left alive. This can happen during both assault and control phase as long as a hostage has been taken by the players. During the assault phase, players can be traded by the team AI after a timer has ended. The timer starts for the first player who went into custody when the last player goes into the custody. During the control phase, players are traded instantly by the team AI, so if the AI survives the assault, the first player who went into custody will be traded instantly. So, basically it just allows a feature for the AI, if there is any hostages, and if you go into custody, that you can now, the AI can trade. So, I mean, that's cool. Now we'll move on to CrimeNet filter. This is a new filter by CrimeNet. I thought it was going to be a bit different, but uh, let's just look at it. All right, so now you have an additional options for setting up in uh, lobby. I don't know what that filtering. Yeah, that's not a J. My eyes make me feel like that's a J. Uh, filtering lobbies in CrimeNet. If you create a lobby, you can tag it with a preferred tactic if you want. Stealth or loud, this will make it easier to find players that also want to use that tactic for a heist. This means you can also filter between preferred tactics when you're looking for a lobby. Stealth, which is a little ghost thing, or loud, which is um, a Shimano Custom. Yeah, that is a Chimano custom, I'm pretty sure. Choose tactic when buying the contract. So it allows you to have another feature so you can go loud, stealth, or any. So or filter your search. So loud, stealth, or any. And that's basically it for this update. There's pretty much not a whole lot of things for it, so I don't really need to go in game and actually show you guys much of it since it's only a very small update but yeah I don't know looks pretty uh, that's new stuff to the game I'm pretty happy with you know uh, if you're gonna look for a loud or you know stealth thing you have that option but the AI I think is just I think we should have the ability to give them different guns and different armor before we bring in team hostage trading because it kind of seems like if it happened on death wish there's there's no point in the AI would die in an instant so I don't know maybe the hostage thing is different but yeah um, also just a few quick words from Almir I'm pretty sure himself um, meanwhile we'd like to clarify a few things that are being discussed Mods like Hawk's HUD and others for Payday 2 are still accepted like before. The reason why some mods aren't working is that we made changes to the game code going into CrimeFest that affected the functionality of some mods, as it does from, from time to time. Mods are still permitted like previously, and we will continue to work with the modding community on ensuring that the process is as good as it is. Uh, can be and that they get the help they need so yeah see they're I think they're trying to help but next uh, we'll move on to voice actors the voice actors of Wolf and Bane 
Wolf Anderson recently told us that we that he won't continue voicing Wolf. We respect that and wish him the best. Just like we change voice actors for chains between Pay the Heist and Pay the Two with the addition of Damien Portier, we will look into what is the best way forward for Wolf. As he is very important and a part of the original Payday crew. Simon Vicklin recently left us to pursue a career as a freelance game developer. I'm pretty sure he didn't say anything about a game developer. And a composer. He continues working on Payday 2 with us just like before, but as a freelance basis. Of course, we want to keep him involved in Payday 2. Not only does he have awesome music as Bane, or well, he is awesome as Bane, and he has awesome music, yeah. Like, as an addition, last, latest edition, Ultra Chaos. And no, we're not removing any of the two characters from the game. Alright, so that's good. I mean, before anybody goes on a tangent, well, you know, if they kill them off later on and they're like, oh, well, you said that you wouldn't remove them. Well, they're saying not removing. They would kill them. I mean, they can kill them, but they, they're they saying they won't remove them immediately. I don't, I don't want to get into that. Uh, there's a bug on the merchandise store that makes Wolf Mask temporarily unavailable for purchase. We're looking into this with our uh, external merchandise partner and we'll resolve it as soon as possible. So, yeah, I guess mainly here's the update uh, change log. Enable the team AI to be able to trade in players for a hostage if there are any are, are only team AI left on the level. Add additional player HUD elements to display when the AI trading is in progress. Added additional settings for creating and filtering lobbies in crime.net. Players can tag their lobbies with a preferred tactic, louder stealth to show other players what they should be prepared for. Players can filter between lobbies, prefer tactics if they want. Now, the thing is, is even though that's a cool, you know, tactic thing, they still need to consider if you go loud on a high stay, it, hopefully it switches to a loud, you know, so they are prepared if, you know, so... Hopefully they can find out, or if that is in there, which in case that's actually pretty good because if you go loud on a jewelry store accidentally when you're trying to stealth, people now know that it's loud, so, but, I don't know, I feel like people still would be confused about this whole thing, but anyways, thanks uh, for you guys for watching this video, hope you like it, um, I won't be showing in-game uh, stuff because, well, and it's not big of a deal at, or in my opinion but yeah so I mean you can go check it out yourself uh, I'm gonna release a another of one of my videos the what is it uh, the achievement hunter uh, where we do uh, speed lock homes and then I don't know, depending on tomorrow, I'll try and make another one, but, yeah, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please, I, rec I do recommend going and checking out the new stuff. Uh, first day, you know, the black market update. You don't have to do this before you go, oh my god. Oh, hey, look, Vlad's masks. Uh, you get a Spooknik, t uh, Tierra, Russian hat, a bucket, and... I, it's a, apparently this is a Russian, like, d story, something, I don't know. Uh, we got a new heist, if any of you want to check that out, I do recommend. Looks like, uh, looks really cool. I played it a bit, it's very enjoyable. I would say that, as my final thoughts on it, it's very... It's kind of big, but also small, you know, it's, it feels big, but it also feels kind of linear of where you can go. Like, as soon as you find the uh, trucks, 
it also it just automatically makes the game feel like tactics because it's always going to be the same spot of where you go the c4 is going to be different but you need to take all the safes to that uh water bridge or whatever the water gate some sort and then after you've done that you find the c4 you place it on the wall then you take either the truck this van this you know truck and put all the safes in it or you could just be like pull back the truck a bit where it the C4 was placed and place all the safes in there and then you're good to go like I really wish they did more with the heist I will say that like more interactive or you know just something a bit different would would have been nice but I know I still enjoyed it it's still a fun heist I just wish they did more with it that that's all oh the 400 box I may be homeless but at least I have a sick knife is apparently a reference to a CSGO player who bought a uh, $400 skin and went poor. I... Yeah. <sighs> Anyways, thanks. You, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please check out some other videos on the channel. Hope you like this. And as always, have fun.